Alright my fellow degenerates, they were checking out the only subreddit where you can meet your furry soulmate at the nearest McDonald's. It's r slash furry IRL. McDonald's soulmates, damn it. A hat to warm my head. Socks to warm my feet. Gloves to warm my hands. The wish dragon to warm my heart. And just like any other furry afro related character that graces the silver screen, furry twitter is currently going crazy for this certain long dragon individual. Left and right you can find barified artwork of this dragon just like the earlier trend of Stitch, of earlier trend of Bara Stitch. But unlike Bara Stitch, Bara Wish Dragon makes me wish that he is, uh, <laughs> he is currently, uh, in front of me so I can hug the hell out of him. Meet my friends, Jack and Morgan. They're boyfriends, inseparable. They're also into boar. <laughs> More alcoholism, damn it! More boar jokes, damn it! More self-deprecating jokes, damn it! <laughs> mm -hmm. I didn't know reptiles could go up there that sexy. Are you perving on my eggs? You creep! Uh, what? This guy ogling your eggs? Deviant! Oh no. A few beatings later. So, what did we learn today? We have learned today that catcalling and perving on innocent female characters, no matter what species, is pretty bad. That can be that can be also be applied in real life. Ogling women who have no interest in you whatsoever is considered sexual assault. So please, don't be this guy. Hmm, nothing like some wholesome wrestling with your bro. Never mind the fact that their tongues are exposed and they're like very having like very pervy smiles on their faces. They're gonna be wrestling with their tongues sooner or later. Nothing wholesome, nothing unwholesome about that. <laughs> just a, uh, just a uh, casual, non-gay, non-homosexual activity. Just tongue wrestling with your homies. Motivational speaker says, "Unleash the lion in you, the lion in me." <laughs> I <laughs> look, look, this, <laughs> this, this is what Mufasa would look like if if his mother had been drinking. <laughs> Like, uh, it's like he's trying to scare off a stray cat that wandered on top of his house. <laughs> it looks like he got unmercilessly got kicked in the balls. <laughs> Werewolves and humans rarely live near each other. So many people wonder how we met. We actually met at a wonderful restaurant near the beach. It was a McDonald's. <laughs> you know, some part of me kind of finds that ridiculous, but... A majority part of me kind of finds that, you know, uh, romantic in a way. They are two literally completely different people, but they found love in a very unexpected place, and it's just their love for chicken nuggets. I find that extremely romantic, and I would love to find a significant other that shares my love for cheesecake. This is gonna be amazing! Advertisement, furrymate.com Crazy furry dating site. Chat with furries near you. Okay, look, I've seen, I've actually seen, I actually watched this advertisement before, and I'm like, what the hell is this? What the hell is furrymate.com? And apparently, it is, as it says, a furry dating site. Now, I don't know how much money this furry had paid in order for YouTube to advertise this video, but you know what? For the shits and giggles of it, I might in the future try to sign up. For this site, and I don't know what the hell's gonna happen. It might be another Tinder moment where I uh, sign up and nobody like responds to my profiles or anything. But hey, you know what? I am crazy enough to try at least once. So yeah, in the future, I, I might do a video making <laughs> making a profile on furrymate.com. Hey guys, did you know that in terms of human Pokemon breed? Shut up! Shut the frick up! Ah! Yes! Yes! 
Thank you! The, this is a very old joke. This is a very old copy pasta. I don't know when the hell this came out. It was already out when I was when I started YouTube, when I when I was already in the furry fandom proper. But every time I see this I slash free IRL, I, I think just make it stop! Just come up with a better joke! And I hate it. I hate this so much. So thank you whoever posted this meme for having the same mindset as me. When it's Thanksgiving and grandma bought the good ass turkey. Another, please, uh, please, Grammy Whammy, give me that juicy turkey wiki. Having just a piece of turkey is like eating just one potato chip. You can't just eat one potato chip. Same with turkey, you can't just eat one turkey leg, you gotta eat all of them. When you want to go back to sleep to finish the storyline of your dream. <laughs> You know, dreams are just nightly acid trips. You know, they're not they're not a self-afflicting addiction. It's not enjoyable. Sometimes it's just boring. Sometimes it's just downright confusing. Like the other day, I dreamt I was on top of a mountain somewhere in the Beagle region, and um, suddenly I'm at the bottom of the uh, bottom of the uh, Mariana Trench. And and then and then in one scenario, I was talking to my uh, third grade teacher that suddenly transformed into my deceased father. I don't know what kind of things happened to my brain during REM, but I I'm I'm starting to hate it. But how would anthropomorphic critters drink like this? Like any kind of normal human being, just tip the glass to your lips, or like this, a very judgmental sip of the tongue. Just imagine you're like um, uh, Marco from Ad Astra, you're having a very romantic date with Amicus, and all of a sudden you'd hear right in front of you is just Amicus with a glass of wine just bleh, bleh, bleh. So, have you ever had that relatable moment where you're playing Minecraft, you have your iron pickaxe with you, you're hunting for diamonds, and soon enough, you find a small vein of diamonds, you're happy, you're going, Oh, we found diamonds, hooray! You're like, celebrating, and then there's just this asshole creeper just spawning out of freaking nowhere, intending to end your entire career. I think everyone can agree who's ever played Minecraft before or even played a small version of it that creepers are the assholes of the game. I hate them more than baby zombies. And that brings us to the end of our slash furry IRL. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Like, subscribe, all that jazz. Follow me on Twitter, chat with me on Discord, support me on Coffee. My coffee link is in the description below. And don't forget to check me out on TikTok. The links will be provided for you in the description below. This has been your fellow degenerate, Cookboss88, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Stay foxy, much love.